Hello, welcome back to my bench. Uh, this is going to be a real quick video. Another 528E, but this is one of the really old ones. And I went through and I got it and there was no audio out of it at all. And I went, okay, well the switches are bad or something like that. And so I replaced all the switches and I did the caps. Um, and it, it still had no audio. Now you can tell this one has over here, it's got the, the long... Um, uh, four pole double throw switch or one two three pole double throw switch um, so you know it's an older one plus it's got those weird locking um, connectors back here for the uh, mic connectors and the input connectors um, and it, so it still had no uh, no audio out of it and I started looking at it and uh, I'll show you the schematic here this has uh, just a, a you know, one IC, both sides of one IC for the balanced and unbalanced outputs. Well, the unbalance comes off previous to it, but the uh, balanced output, uh, which comes out here, uh, is, uh, is run by that one IC, that U19, which is right down here. Well, I had good audio on this IC on pin 1 and pin 7 which is the outputs and then I had nothing on the switch here that switches between line level out and mic level out and uh, nothing you know it just disappeared so I started tracing it down um, and these capacitors have been changed so that probably wasn't it and these little there's little green green uh, little greenies in here right there and there um, they they've checked good and then I saw this Q2 and Q3 and as you'll see on the schematic there's nothing connected to the output here which is right here this 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 resistor there's nothing connected to it as far as the schematic is concerned, but if you track this thing down and find Q2 and Q3 on a different page here, then you'll see that it says MUT1 and MUT2. Well, the schematic is wrong. <laughs> that, that's the way it goes. So I corrected the schematic, which I'll put up here, and replace these two FETs, they're, they're J FETs and channel J FETs and basically what they are is a muting network um, that is in some way connected to the um, uh, the switch for the 48 volts phantom switch for for muting the output temporarily both of these were shorted I believe that this thing took a hit uh, it, I didn't see anything a, a lightning hit or a static hit that is I didn't see anything bad wrong with the ones of these uh, capacitors I took out but they were fine and in uh, but these two both of these fets were out so now it's working just fine and um, there's nothing wrong with it it's got nice good good specs it's one of the really old ones so the specs aren't the grandest in the world but you know they're pretty good Anyhow, uh, just a real quick video. If you got one of these that has absolutely no video out, however, your or audio out, <laughs> wow. Um, however, your lights in the in the front here are lighting up uh, with your input level and your output level. Then take a look at these two uh, J FETs. They're J108s. I put in 113s. It really doesn't make any difference. They're used as a switch, so it really doesn't matter. But they're J108s in here. Uh, the J113s are a direct replacement uh, pin wise, and everything works good. Anyway, I just wanted to do that to show you <laughs> another version of one of these things where these are in the schematic, but they're not pointed to in the schematic. Interesting, fun stuff. Anyhow. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to um, punch that that button down there for uh, for like, and uh, and or not like if you don't like it. Anyway, thanks for watching.